Well, I can't see a better reason to get together and talk about our old buddy, Lou Whitaker. Put Here's the, to him. Let's get started the right way. That's it. Here's to Lou. That's right. Good man. Good man. Where do we where do we get the names Sweet Lou Whitaker? For me, I remember Lou saying this in the locker room. Sweetness is my weakness. <laughs> and a lot of us guys called him Sweetness. We call him Sweet Lou. We call him all that. Do you guys remember how that all came about? I just I, thought that was a name that went along with Lou. I, Sweet I, Lou. I, think, yeah. I, I yeah. really think that's more the answer. I mean, it did fit him because he... His, his game was sweet, as Absolutely. far as I'm concerned. His bad. He did it in an effortless manner, and it wasn't effortless. Obviously, he was putting a lot of work and time into it, just like we all did. But to the you know the common folks, it looked like you know he might have been gliding a little bit. But that was just the way he was. You know, I always felt that he was just a very good athlete, very athletic, and things came to him naturally. I remember, you know, I used to go to spring training, and it would take me forever to get my timing down as a hitter. Lou would step in without, and he, and he used to tell us, I haven't picked up a bat since the end of the season. And he would get in the batter's box, hitting off of pitchers, live pitching, and it was like he was in midseason form. And that used to piss me off, number one. And I was like, you know, that's how good Lou really is. He was. So, Tremendous hands. Tremendous. You know, but no, let me, let me, let me just say just that, that sweet Lou. Just to, but, but I remember Button. Yeah, you know, button, head. Butt, button, button head. head. You know, that tiny little yeah. little head. But he would always say, "No, it's because I always hit the ball right on the butt." You know, <laughs> line drive right on the butt. You know, and he'd he have did that a little smile. Of his. He did have a, a great amount of confidence. None of us played with Lou in the minor leagues. I did. I mean, yeah. other than you. Yeah, yeah. And when you did, he wasn't a third baseman, right? He went from oh, right. third base to second base when you became his. No, that, that is true. So I had met Lou, and he was uh, the MVP as the Florida State uh, League as yeah. a third baseman. Yeah. And we go to Instructional League, and I had not met him. And they immediately, the very first day, he said, Lou, you're going to play second. He put all the time and the work, and obviously it worked out as a combination. But I can't even imagine going through what he did. I mean, he's uh, to, to, to do that. I mean, under his breath, he might have said a few things. I never heard anything, honestly. He I think he had there. the confidence yeah. it didn't matter to him. Yeah. Well, put me wherever you want. I'm going to make the plays. Yeah. You know, Danny and I know this. You transformed into a great catcher. So you had a guy with a gun. You got this guy to catch everything on the left side. You got Lou catching everything on the right side. You know, I was fortunate to play with a couple really good second basemen in my career after I left Detroit. Rob, uh, Chuck Knobloch was rookie of the year for the Twins. And I played with Robbie Alomar, who was a Hall of Fame second baseman, right? I didn't see any of those guys do what Lou was able to do, going to his right and throwing across his body a rocket quicker than anybody with a stronger arm than any of those two guys. If you look at Whitaker highlights, and that's when runners could take you out at second base, and you could see the multiple ways that he would go about there. You know, he'd come across the bag, or he'd back up, or he'd go towards left field. Or he you know, once in a while he'd take their head off. And, and, and it's just that little flip of the wrist, though. Just having him and Lou up the middle, a lot of guys call games trying to get pitchers to strike guys out. I never did that. I tried to work my game calling strategies to try to get him to hit a ground ball to one of these two guys. Because I knew if they did, there was going to be an out. It was as good as there was, and, and uh, it's unfortunate that he has not gotten the credit that he had deserved. I feel uncomfortable, to be honest with you. I mean, because we've always been linked together, as we should be. I mean, it's always Lou and Tram, Tram and Lou. And so now it will be, and it'll be official, and this will be, uh, again, it'll, it's going to make him happy, I know.